Let me do a little bit of adjustment here. I just wrote this song, so I still got to read the words. Hope y'all don't mind. I'm a, uh, the, the guy from Alabama right there. Uh, I, 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 are you familiar with a are you familiar with a young man named Mr. Wayne Mills? Hi. Hi. Huh? He was a great country singer here in the state of Alabama. Wayne was Wayne was actually gunned down on, on Friday night in a little honky tonk in Nashville. I don't think all the stories are. I don't. I don't think. I don't, I don't think all the. I don't think everything in the world has, has completely come out of that story yet. And I, and I certainly think there's more to come. But anyway, uh, if, if, if thank you, thank you. If, if 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 you if you didn't know Wayne, if you didn't know Wayne, Wayne was. Um, he was 44 years old. I met Wayne. I, 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 I heard of Wayne. I started hearing of Wayne back in the early 90s. I, Luther and myself here played. We played outlaw music back in the 70s, and you know when, when outlaw was part of the land. You know what I'm saying? But it, 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 not like everything in the world, it died out. We had to go figure out some other shit to do to stay alive. You know what I'm saying? And, and back in the 90s, I, back in the 90s, I started hearing about this guy named Wayne Mills, and I. I, I took a ride to go see him, and sure enough, he was he was young. He was about 22 years old. He had, he had a six-piece band, twin you know, twin guitars, a fiddle, just beating the shit out of a bunch, of, of a bunch of, just just beating beating them old outlaw songs, just just murdering them, sounding sound like a million dollars. I mean, just killing them. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, fortunately enough for him, Wayne was a Wayne was a ball player at Tuscaloosa, so he was a he was well he was very very well received, and he was in Tuscaloosa, and he was able to. Uh, you know, I, I watched that guy single-handedly in, in the state of Alabama raise raise a particular music from the dead. You know what I'm saying, and, 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 and of course, being being in Tuscaloosa, you know, Wayne took that music to Birmingham and Jasper and Montgomery and everywhere else in the world, and he was tremendous, tremendously successful at it. And, and, and not only that, and you know, and in the, in the in the in the height of his success, he had the balls to to take his shit and go to Nashville and, and make nothing. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Which I got news for you, it takes a lot of balls. Uh, 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 my hat goes off to Wayne. Wayne Mills was a, a guy, I've made several statements this week, but Wayne Mills was a guy who, he never wavered one freaking inch, you know what I'm saying? And, and, that's, and, the, and the, in the music industry, ask anybody like Doug or myself, it's been here for a loop, we, we've all been here for a lifetime. It, it's, it's, hard to just, it, it's hard to just stick to your guns and just do one thing, you know what I'm saying? Because shit changes. And sometimes it's a long time before it comes back around for you. But, if, if you don't know the story, Wayne was in Wayne was in a nightclub. Well, he was in a nightclub in Nashville on Friday night about five o'clock in the morning, and supposed to be he lit up a cigarette and you know, lit a cigarette up in a, in a no-smoking place. And Wayne's a big guy, and it looked like, looked like the club owner was was a fairly big guy too. And I, to my understanding, they got to arguing a little bit, and what few patrons were left were left in the building, left the building, and a few few minutes later, gunshots were heard. It turns out Wayne took three bullets to the head. I'm saying I understand one to the back of the head. I'm I'm not I'm not completely sure, but 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 uh, anyway, the uh, the uh, uh, the the club owner claims self-defense, and, and I don't really know. I, I hope I hope that don't hold up. But but uh, being you know being a, being, a, being a friend being a friend of Wayne's, so I felt obligated to write something about it, and we did. And I hope to get that guy. You gotta bear with me, okay? A cold night in November in an old Nashville dive. My buddy lit a cigarette. It cost him his life. Shots heard from a distance. Took an old outlaw down. I'm crossing Dixie in the wings heaven bound. Tell me what. 
what kind of man he pulls a gun on a friend and cries out self-defense just to save his own skin with three shots from a coward people this just ain't right so-called self-defense it took a good man's life misidentified at the, at, the, at the scene of the incident. He was, uh, they, they, uh, they had mistaken his identity for some writer named Clayton Mills. And, and so the poor guy sat in the hospital for 10 hours uh, uh, waiting for his loved ones to get to him. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's, 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 it's a, you ain't gonna do that, but uh, 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 John Cook, John, John, John right here knew Wayne very well. He played in college with Wayne. They, they were, they, they, they were the different colleges, but they played the same circuit. I knew, I knew, I knew John knew Wayne well. And, and uh, uh, it just was a, just was a, a terrible, terrible thing. And, uh, 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 we're gonna record that tomorrow morning, and, and, and hopefully, hopefully the asshole will pull the trigger. It gets, it gets a good chance to hear. We got, no, we, we, we're gonna do a 